When state's attorney Anita Alvarez did nothing about this murder, she proved our justice system is broken. Kim Fox is the only candidate who has what it takes to fix it. Well, Anita Alvarez is crying foul over this commercial. She came out with a speech uh, this week in which she said it was uh, improper for Fox to use uh, this footage uh, in the campaign that she was taking advantage of a tragedy. Mary? Well, you know, the, it's out there. It's not like she's taking advantage of it because everyone is by now has seen that footage. That's first of all. And it is the biggest issue in this campaign. So, so fair game. It's always fair game. It's not only the biggest issue in this campaign. It's a, the biggest issue for most African Americans in, in the Chicagoland area. I mean, the Cook County State Attorney's Office has been plagued for years with, with these types of malfeasance. And so to bring this up right now, it, it's fair game. It's fair play for these people right now because people want justice. People want to know that there's a justice system for everybody, not just a few. And is it fair to say, Matt, that this is not only one of the biggest issues in the campaign, but it is clearly the only issue? The well, I, it's, it is huge. And mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure that it's the only issue because as you get into this, uh, the Laquan McDonald case now has opened up so many other inquiries about all these other uh, instances Correct. of uh, police shootings. And Charging in the Dante Servan, the Rakia Boy case, and that it was mischarged, that issue came up. One of the good things that's coming out of this now, especially, is the fact that IPRA has now said that it would go with the recommendations that after a video has been, something like this has happened, this is, video the, this is the independent police, police review, review authority, authority absolutely. Right. They will release a video after 60 days as opposed to waiting 60 days to a, a year almost to like this Laquan McDonald incident. So we're going to get these videos coming faster. So, you know, keep people on their toes, doing the right thing for the community. At the same time, for all the heat and criticism that Alvarez has gotten because of this, the most recent polls show her leading both uh, Fox and Moore. Anybody surprised by that? I, I was actually very surprised by that, but I think that's name recognition, you know, and that is on voters. Honestly, and, and I say this uh, uh, basically because the African-American community may be upset about Anita Alvarez, but unless they're going to come out and vote, then, you know, she's still going to remain in office. And do we see the possibility, Matt, politically, that um, you could have Kim Fox and Donna Moore uh, basically split the anti-Alvarez vote and she comes out ahead? That, it, that's always a possibility. That's always a possibility and the incumbency is very powerful.